Now, hopefully you can hear me in HD. In the next few minutes, you'll learn about what is known as great mirror wisdom reflecting. Great mirror wisdom reflecting. It is a teaching found in many Mahayana traditions. And the truth of this teaching is found in the earliest teachings of the historical Buddha. And it's also verifiable here and now, religion aside. This is a teaching that can be verified right away by resting your gaze, as I'm doing with this little camera icon on this iPad. Resting my awareness right there, allowing everything to appear, because everything appears spontaneously anyway, due to the lucid nature of awareness. Whether you use the term consciousness or awareness or mind or experience, we're talking about the same phenomenon. We're talking about the same experience, given different names. It has no name, it has no location, yet everything is clearly reflected. Just as this camera is reflecting everything in this here, whatever can be seen by good vision is seen here. And whatever is not present can't be detected by this camera. But whatever can be detected by this camera lens is here. Likewise, whatever we can be aware of as human beings with a clear mind appears in consciousness. It is not the sum total of everything. It is the field in which everything that we can be aware of appears and dissolves. So great mirror wisdom reflecting is our true nature. It is our lucid awareness, which allows us to have clear comprehension, which allows us to be alert, which facilitates attention, and which ultimately resolves into bare awareness, mere recognition. This is great mirror wisdom reflecting. This camera in selfie mode is like a mirror. Moving my eyes around, I can see, okay. And actually my brain is not even revealing to me every little movement, every little twitch of the eye. It fills in the gaps and creates this illusion of stability. But actually everything is moving. Everything is oscillating. But it wouldn't be practical to see the world that way. So everything appears more or less stable. Great mirror wisdom reflecting. We use the actual mirror, or you can use a camera in selfie mode like I'm doing here to record. To see the consciousness, close your eyes. Vision didn't disappear. Now I'm just aware of the back of my eyelids and the play of various shades of color, depending on what type of light is in the room, a white, cool LED light, or a soft bulb, a yellowish light. So even with the eyes closed, they're still the great mirror wisdom reflecting, which is consciousness. Content always there. And when it's not, we call it deep sleep. And then in dreams, we have the mind, the mind sense, the mind element. So get familiar with looking into a mirror to see that what is seen cannot be seen. There's only the seen. You, your mind, your face, your body, everything is part of the seen. That which is seen can't be seen. That which is seeing is called great mirror wisdom reflecting.